Hey guys, it is Amanda Givens, your favorite real estate agent here in the East Bay area. And we're gonna break down the pros and cons of living in Pleasant Hill, what you need to know before moving here. So first we're gonna talk about all of the positive, the pros of living in Pleasant Hill. And then we are going to talk about the cons or maybe the negative side of living in Pleasant Hill. So living in Pleasant Hill has its perks as well as some potential drawbacks. So here are a breakdown of both. So some good things about living in Pleasant Hill is that it's a central location. So Pleasant Hill is centrally located in the East Bay area, providing easy access to major highways like I-680 and CA-24, which makes commuting to nearby cities like Walnut Creek or Concord and even San Francisco more convenient. Another pro is that it has the suburban feel. So the town has a peaceful suburban feel and it has that atmosphere with well-maintained neighborhoods, tree-lined streets, and a family-friendly environment. Another pro is that it has good schools. So the public schools in Pleasant Hill, particularly within the Mount Diablo Unified School District, are highly rated, making it attractive for families with children. And number four, there are parks and recreation. So there are many parks and green spaces, including the Pleasant Hill Park, the Canal Trail, and hiking areas near Briona's Regional Park, and these offer a great mix of outdoor activities. Number five, shopping and dining downtown. So Pleasant Hill has a variety of shopping centers, including dining options, movie theaters, and local businesses that provide plenty of entertainment without needing to travel far. Number six, low crime rates. So Pleasant Hill has a relatively low crime rate compared to nearby cities contributing to the sense of safety in the community. So now, before you move, let's chat about possibly the bad things of living in Pleasant Hill. So number one, cost of living. As many places in the Bay Area, the cost of living in Pleasant Hill is high. Housing, prices, rent, and general living expenses can be a burden for those on a tight budget. Number two, traffic and congestion. So traffic can be an issue, especially during peak commuting hours. Pleasant Hill is close to major highways, so freeway congestion can spill over into the local streets. And number three, if this is important to you, they have a limited nightlife. So while there are some dining and entertainment options in Pleasant Hill, it is more quieter. So if that's a plus for you, great. <laughs> but it is more quieter, may lack the vibrant nightlife or culture experiences found in larger cities that are like Oakland or San Francisco. Number four, they do have limited public transportation. So although Pleasant Hill has access to BART, Bay Area Rapid Transit, it might not be as well connected by public transportation as other East Bay cities. And you may still need a car for most errands. And number five, the summer heat. The summer months in Pleasant Hill can get quite hot with temperatures sometimes reaching the 90s or higher, especially during heat waves. Number six, the suburban sprawl. While some enjoy the suburban lifestyle, others might feel that the area lacks vibrancy or diversity of experiences found in more urban or eclectic areas of the Bay. In general, Pleasant Hill is a great place for families, outdoor enthusiasts, and those who appreciate quieter suburban settings, but the cost of living and commute can be significant challenges. Thanks for watching.